live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the reason I'm talking this topic today, um, or I'm making this video, is because of this $600 stimulus check issue. So um, it gives me a good reason to talk about this because I have read so many complaints and people are getting upset about this because they may not get their 600 after all for some people. I mean, millions of Americans already got their 600 but what about the other people that didn't? Well, the reason may be is because, as for me, I um, checked the status of get my parents' status of the IRS website. Um, you can check that out and... Uh, click on get my payment status and it'll tell you when you expect your payment but for some reason um when I went on to you know the website to get my payment and stuff I checked the status of it I saw the first one already deposited so I already got that one and your first one should be 1200 but unfortunately for some other people they didn't get that 1200 as well um and the second uh the number two payment um it may say um Payment status is not available and the reason is uh, we didn't have enough information or you may not be eligible, which is complete uh, rubbish and, you know, it's very unfair to the American people. If you promise <clears throat> the American people something that you're going to give them a payment, you should follow through with your promises, not just break them again. I mean, that's what our government does anyway, since, you know, they bullshit a lot and all that stuff and, you know... Imagine how I'm feeling right now. I'm very upset, you know, if I may not get that payment after all. And, you know, I read a lot of statuses. I went through a lot of posts on Facebook, and they're feeling the same way as I am right now. I mean, people want to do worse, and, you know, people want to do harmful, you know, stuff to the government. But, you know, let's not do that. I mean, you know, let's not let's not uh, think about that negativity. But let's get back to this issue. Um, so, um, this government, you know... President Donald Trump uh, signed a bill on uh, late, uh, late last year around after Christmas time promising that, you know, millions of Americans, well, everybody's going to get their 600. But, you know, for some reason, um, I, the IRS claims that, you know, they had a glitch in the system and saying, you know, they're not going to get their um, $600 payment or the website says that as well. Um, but, you know. There are so many articles and um, rumors about the IRS that, you know, you know, you may not get your payment, you may get your payment, you know, this is a mistake, this is a glitch, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I don't know. I don't work for the IRS, so, you know, the best thing you can do in this situation is just wait it out and see what happens from there. But here's the real issue. If you're going to promise something, you know, millions of people are expecting this payment, you know. You know, the $600 can help a lot of people out, <clears throat> you know, to pay their bills and stuff and all that stuff. You know, it's just not very, very fair that you're keeping all this money. But, you know, $1,200, you know, the, you paid last time to the American people. I mean, you can pay, you pay that really easily. I mean, I got my $1,200 last time very easily without no problems. But, you know, this time around, the $600, really, really, you know, Six hundred dollars is very less than twelve hundred you gave us. So why wait this long to give us our payment? Why are you trying to have create problems on how to get our six hundred? Why? I mean, it's six hundred dollars less than a twelve hundred that you give to the American people. And you know, one thing I don't play about is my money, and so does the other people that are feeling the same way as I am right now, because you know. People got kids, people got jobs, people got to eat, people got to go to school, people got work, people got to pay their car notes, people got to pay their light bills, people got a lot of shit they could have done with the $600, and yet you want to let the American people struggle like they are doing right now, and you're telling us to the American people that you're we're not eligible for the payment? I mean, you gave us the 1200 that you easily paid the last time. 
So why wait and tell us or you have an issue that you are not giving us a payment at all or better yet. Why do you tell us that we had to wait till tax time? Because as myself, I had to wait a long time, seven months to <clears throat> seven months to get my money back. So you're telling us that we have to wait till tax time to do this? Come on. Come on, people. Come on, government. I mean, you promised us the six hundred dollar payment. And you saying we're not going to get it at all? I mean, millions of people already have their $600 payment. And me, myself, and other people are wait, still waiting on that payment. You know, we're so amped up and we're so happy that we're getting the 600 And now you're telling us that we're not going to get it? Come on! I mean, I literally have the screenshots myself that, you know, saying that, you know... You're not going to get this payment, you know, you, we don't even have enough information for you. And, you know, and you're telling us we're not eligible. I mean, we are eligible for 1200 but not 600 You promised us 600 Come on. This is not fair. This is why I'm so angry right now. This is why the other people are angry right now. You lying to their kids. You lying to, you lying to their families. You know what I mean? Disabled families. We already have... A lot of people died from this fucking virus. C come on. I don't get it. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, Treasury. you giving us... you giving giving other people 600 and we're not getting anything at all. I mean, thank you for the 1200 I mean, that I appreciate it. It's going to... It's very helpful. But, you know, if you're going to send something, and you, go, you promise something, you should follow with your promise. I mean, this is the first time I ever had to yell on this newscast because our government, it, it, our government is so corrupt and so stupid, so selfish that you let your people die. It's pathetic and it's sad that we're the only country around the world with over a thousand deaths <coughs> and we lose it. More people to this COVID-19 because you do not care about your people. Okay? I mean, if you really care about your American people, then 300 lives wouldn't have been lost right now. Seriously. 300 lives wouldn't have been lost but to this virus. And you telling us, you promised us, that you're going to send out $600 and now you lying to us and you telling us that we're not going to get paid this much. You're going to let us struggle. You're going to get us evicted and we're going to have this shit on our records. Really, government? Wow. You telling us today and I didn't even know about this till I got home and I just read this and I came across millions of posts, millions of status, and people are feeling the same way, and they are very angry, you know, and I saw this picture of this one girl that's about to get evicted, and I just can't, I just can't explain the rest, it's too sad to tell a story, <coughs> it's too sad to tell a story, and it's very pathetic that our government is doing this, very selfish, and I bet, I bet right now they're sending the money to the people that don't even fucking need it. That's a very a shame. And I'm sorry that I had to yell. But I had to address this issue. Because I'm just very upset that I came across this today. I just read millions of articles about this. You know. Millions of statuses about this. I mean. You can check for yourself. Look up Google. Look up Facebook. They'll tell you. I mean. I'm not playing around. I'm not kidding. I mean. I have screenshots of this. I haven't even had screenshot of you know. The payment status myself. <clears throat> so is the other American people. So, um, and you know, and it's very sad and it's very pathetic, you know. And I just, you know, the best thing you can do if you don't get your six hundred dollar payment or even the twelve hundred, um, the best thing you can do from where I wear it is, you know, 
it's just, you know, file it in your taxes, claim it in your tax return, and you hopefully you get it back. But to tell you the truth, it, you may get it a, a long time. You may have to wait a long time for it to come back. And I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but, you know, it's the truth, and I never lied to you. But, hey, well, it is what it is, but, you know, I'm not the IRS. I mean, the, the, uh, the system may have a glitch or whatever. I don't know what's going on. Again, I don't work for the IRS, so... The best thing you can do is just wait it out, see what happens. You know, it can change overnight, it can change tomorrow, it can change two days, five days, next week, next month. You don't know what what's going to happen. But, you know, <clears throat> the cutoff date for the stimulus checks is January 15th and still has a lot to go. So, it's still a good chance you may get yours before the end. You may not. I don't know. But, you know, just, you know... Just don't tell these people you're not going to get paid and leave them in a panic like that. I mean, that's just not fair. You know, that's that's not good for their health. All right. I mean, I just I'm so, I'm sorry to just yell at you, but I just wanted to get it out across y'all heads because you know you don't play with people's money like that. Period. Okay. Period. All right. You you do not <coughs> you do not play with people's money period okay <clears throat> wow my voice is cracking up but i'm so glad i got this over it. i got it out of my mind because i don't know what else i can do if i don't get it out of my mind but hey it is what it is but you know just what i want to talk about and you know this next topic is going to be very interesting you guys it involves graphic design you know just like I said, I'm going to talk about other graphic designs on my YouTube channel now. Um, just be on the lookout for it, and you know, it's going to be awesome. But anyways, um, I think I'm going to end this newscast from there. I'm Jerome Harden, um, founder of Graphic Jerome, uh, Jerome Harden Studios. Um, hope you all enjoyed this newscast. Sorry to um, yell at y'all like that, or yell at some of the people that deserve to be Yell that like this because of this bullshit, but hey, you know, it is what it is, you know, I hope it gets through the hairs, but you know, I'm in this newscast right here. Until next time, I'm Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out. Peace.